Hey folks, this week I've been lucky enough to get Tackle Tactics Pro Angler Andrew Schroeder out from behind the camera and we're going to ask him our Pro Angler questions. Cool. Right. Game on. Here we go, mate. Right. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to go. Yeah, we're right. How did you get into fishing? Uh, typical to a lot of people, my father and grandfather. We used to come out in the bay and go whiting fishing and also up off the Noosa headland. We used to do a lot of dew fishing and... Oh, they did. I used to get dragged up, yep. taken out to Lions Rock and just <laughs> sit there until I got old enough and then, yeah, I could get into it. Pick it up as you go, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Sounds like you were fishing my spots way back then, chasing the I'm whiting in the bay. The <laughs> then, so uh, what, are, what are a few of your favourite species and why? Favourite species? Definitely mangrove jack, when I can hook them. Not chasing them, when I can catch them. Yep. Um, barramundi is definitely up there. And... Jewfish, and like a larger jewfish. Yep. Not so much the schoolies, which are also fun to catch, but yep. trying to actually target the bigger ones yep. and hooking them is really good. What, why are those three species? Um, jacks, it's quick, it's kind of hectic, they pull drag well, Yep. and they're pretty hard to catch. Barra, just because they're barra, they're an iconic species. Yep. Um, they fight well. And jewies, just... I don't know, they're a bit mythical, you know, to catch a big yep. jewfish. Yep. Uh, I spend a lot of time out here searching for them and you know, it takes time to actually get one. Yep. And I guess fishing off the rocks too, when you're younger, it, it's just, you've got to be patient. And when yep. you actually get one and... Reward, yeah, hey? It's reward, yeah. yeah, reward for effort, it, it's pretty awesome. Yep. Um, so, yeah, three iconic species, like you say, and some of you may recognise Andrew from the Jack DVD that he made many years ago as well, so yeah. different hair, but make sure if you, yeah. if you can find a copy, check it out. Uh, some of your most memorable captures? Um, I would say for one for Mangrove Jack was up at Malulba. I've got a nice one on top water. It just obliterated the popper and towed the boat around a little <laughs> bit, but it was really cool. And recently, I got my PB Barra local. Yep. And yeah, that, I was still shaking from that. That was yeah. a really cool, really epic fight. I think the internet's still shaking from that one. Yeah. A few locals, hey, yeah, that's yeah, the pretty, pretty epic capture. How big was that one? Uh, 120. 120, yeah. yep. Yeah. That was on a hard body? Yep, yeah, on a Bagley's Rumble B. Yep, sure Rumble B11. 11. Yep, yep. yep. Built cool. heavy duty hook straight out of the packet yep. and that. Very yeah, cool. yeah, that was a pretty amazing fish, eh? Yeah. Uh, what's some of your go to tackle tactics gear? Uh, my probably my main go-to is uh, TT Switchblade. Yep. I don't go anywhere without one of them tied on. Yep. Um, yeah. Gear. That that Switchblade is like it's a pretty Quite versatile long. presentation. Yep. Been around for a long time. Still catches catches a ridiculous number of species and available in a ton of different sizes. What what sort of sizes do you mainly use? Um, I go the half ounce purely for the profile. Yep. And then oh, the smaller ones too, but generally with the smaller ones, you're up on a flat or something and just making long casts. Yep. Lately, the bigger profile, getting down there, it just seems to be the fish are really honing in on it. Yep. And attacking it well. And so you're, you're targeting bait, structure, schooled fish yeah, and yeah. fishing it vertically. Yeah, I'm pretty lazy like that. Generally, I just keep an eye on the sounder. When the fish comes through, the lure's already down there, and I can see it just vibing off the bottom. Yep. And I know, I know in your boat, the Lorances are about this big, so you've got a fair view of what's yeah, down there. Yeah, no. Yep. Bigger and and the more you see. I noticed with, when you fish them too, those switchblades, you fish them with a sharp pulse, yep. drop them back down, yep. sharp pulse, pause, and gee, the hits are brutal, yeah, eh? Yeah, it is. It is yep. good. And hookup rate's pretty good too. Yep. yep. And so that's the switchblade. Any other gear in the Tackle Tactics stuff that stands out for you? Oh, three inch minnows. Yep. Slim swims. Uh, that size profile, especially in in the estuaries, are yep. awesome. Um, and a three-inch minnow offshore too. I generally fish in offshore, in close though. Yep. And they're good on your sweet lip and your snapper. Yeah, yeah, pretty like versatile that. sort of presentation, oh, eh? Hey? North to south. Five-inch jerk shells, awesome. Before we get our way through the whole catalogue, we might <laughs> yeah. go to the next one. Uh, any species on your bucket list? Um, Species on my bucket list, probably open Papua New Guinea. Like yeah, I, say, yep. like that. I think I just would really like to feel the power. Yep. Once I got one, I'd be happy. Yep. And um, another one until recently, and heaps of people catch these and they're prolific this time of year, long tail tuna. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yep. 
Oh, I've had that many opportunities, had them near the boat, but I've never landed one till recently. Yep. So. And that's on Tackle Tactics TV on YouTube as well. You can check yeah. out that one. But yeah, they're, they're such a finicky species. You work hard to get them Morton Bay long tails, yeah. you know, to hook one and lose a boat side. Plenty to do times. it, yeah, to do yeah. it multiple times. Yeah. Hard breaker. Yeah. yeah. So oh, reward for effort, mate, hey. Oh, yeah. um, what's a piece of fishing advice that you've been given that still sticks with you? It's be patient. It's probably one I don't stick to a lot. Sometimes I'll get to a spot and I kind of got to tell myself to be patient. Yep. You know, I get down, I want to catch a fish where I've got a short amount of time on the water. But yeah, just be patient and spend a lot of time. Maybe pick a stretch of water and spend a session there. Yep. No doubt, get to know what's underneath and yep. really spend the time to learn that. Yeah. Learn that spot. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Like that. Be patient. People just say, oh, you know, be patient. It's easy to say it. Oh, yeah. It's you hard know. to do. Some, and you get out there and it's a bit blowy and it's hard to fish a bank and you know, but the amount of time I've persisted, nutted it out, nutted it out, nutted, grind it out, I know there's going to be, boom. Yeah, and also getting big the fish. Feel, even with the lures when you're, say you're fishing a hard body and you've yep. got a bank, it's getting to know, if you haven't got a sounder, this is a good tip, getting to know that bank yep. with your lure. Like casting out, yeah, you know, yep, yep. Stump, so you know where yep. the rocks are, because you hit them yep. and you just fish slow as well. And I think back in the day when we all used to bait fish, you know, you'd go, there's a rock bar there, yep. there's some mangrove roots there, you'd know where all the snags and that yeah, were because yeah. you'd got, you lost your hooks there all the yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. You exactly. know, and same That's thing, same. you can feel it out with your lure, trying to get snagged up too much, but yeah, yeah but then bring your sounder into it, Phew, different yeah. world. Yeah, open it up. Yeah. Uh, three tips for someone that's new to fishing. Uh, start off, well actually here's one tip, jump on YouTube or social media where there's a learning outlet similar to what yep. we do with uh, the soft plastics yep. 101. Yeah, and we make a point of that, hey, trying to yeah. trying to start from the basics, make it educational. Yeah, keep it basic and learn and yep. maybe pick, okay, say you're fishing estuary, pick one species, flathead. Yep. Let's go with that. Yep. Watch a video, target that, spend yep. your time and find, and another tip is buy what's working for that. Which it all kinds of comes back to what we do filming. Yep, yep. Know? And then, yeah, just stick to that. Yep, and then, so find out get on there and research, pick a species, find out what's working for them. Yep, and go for it. Go get into yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks very much, Andrew, for your time. Uh, you'll see tons of this guy's work from behind the camera, but also a bunch of videos going up and you can keep track of his adventures at tackletactics.com.au. Yep. Cheers. Cheers.